Apple silently releases iOS 6.1. HTC M7 hardware gets examined on video, and the AT&T Galaxy S4 info gets leaked. I'm Jaime Rivera, loving all you Windows Phone haters, and this is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, the Galaxy S4 is one of the most popular devices of the year. And even though we already know that MWC most probably won't be the terrain for the launch of this device, we already have a codename i337 device sporting a 1080p display and being called the Galaxy S4 for AT&T. So stay tuned for the rumors because we've got some more stuff for the Galaxy S4 coming up in the next coming weeks. Can you believe the rumors of a cheap iPhone keep coming back? New leaks have the device being based off the design of the iPhone 5, obviously, the iPod Touch current generation, and get this, the classic iPod. I mean, are those things still being made? Well, the point is, the iPod Touch's current design is really cool, so I do believe that design could be great. It probably will be based on polycarbonate, as most rumors are saying, but we'll keep you posted. Let's just see where this goes. Probably a newer version of the iPod being dubbed a cheaper iPhone. You never know. Another one of the hot devices for early 2013 is the HTC M7 and we now have it on video, being compared to the HTC One X. And you'll notice that the design is pretty much similar, it's a bit taller than the One X and it does seem to be sleeker even though they only compare the housings of each of these devices. Now that said, MWC 2013 is apparently going to be the time when it's going to be launched and hopefully this design will come through because it is really cool. Now speaking of hot designs, make sure you catch our 11th episode of After the Buzz that just aired today sporting the HTC Windows Phone 8X, which pretty much owns the M7's design if you look at it. I mean, the design is beautiful, the device is beautiful, but there are some things you should consider if you still want to buy this device. Aside from that, make sure you catch Joe Levi's walkthrough of Paranoid Android if you've been interested in getting the whole tablet Android UI on your Nexus 7 and on your Nexus smartphone or Android device smartphone, so make sure you catch both of these videos which are currently on the air right now. And finally for the meh news of the day, Apple has silently released iOS 6.1 to the public and while the number of changes are so small and insignificant it begs to wonder why I didn't call it iOS 6.0.2. The only positive thing about this change is that you'll be able to jailbreak your iPhone apparently in the next coming week because iOS 6.1 was already jailbroken at least in the beta stages. And it just begs to wonder what's going on with Apple. This pretty much leads me to the question of the day. Do you think that Apple is losing their edge because iOS 6 and iOS 6.1 have pretty much been duds. They've been terrible. Their stocks are down and everything is just going downhill. I mean, I think they're probably just sucking on that success straw so much and they're probably just sleeping in their laurels as Steve Jobs would say that they wouldn't do. So leave us a comment down below. What do you think is happening to the company? And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for a Samsung Ateep Odyssey review coming up tomorrow if you're interested for a Verizon budget Windows Phone 8 device.